Top 10 Craziest Rulers in History Imagine a world where the proliterats are ruled by madmen. Unfortunately, there has been instances where this madmen were ruling some places. In fact, history is full of tales where monarchs are regarded as insane. Below is the top 10 kings and queens whose insanity had changed the course of history. Number 10. Fyodor I of Russia The ruler of Russia succumbed to a tragedy that struck his personal life. He could not overcome the death of his two-year-old daughter. This shock moved him completely, and he started wandering across Russia, ringing every church bell that came his way, to which he was popularly referred to as Fyodor the Bell Ringer. Number 9. Queen Maria I of Portugal The first sign of the Portuguese queen was noticed in the year 1786, when she lost her husband. After his death, she did not attend any religious festivities or court entertainments. After her husband's death, she lost her son to smallpox, which was the beginning of her end, and her health began to diminish. Despite her treatments of John Willis of England, she did not get better. Towards the end, she would lay inside of her apartments, screaming and sobbing continuously with no stopping. Number 8. Otto of Bavaria Although Otto held the seat of throne from 1886 to 1913, it is said that he suffered from severe mental illness. Being the younger brother of Ludwig II, he was the rightful heir to the throne. There were stories of him stammering and breaking things wherever he went. But recent studies have shown that the stories of his insane behavior were made up by his cousin Ludwig, so he could overthrow him. Now the question lies, who was really the crazy one in the family? Number 7. Christian VII of Denmark The King of Denmark was merely the rubber stamp in the country, and the actual government was run by his advisors. This was because it was found that Christian VII was mentally ill. There were times he was found suffering from extreme paranoia or committing acts of self-mutilation. Others say that at times he possessed extreme promiscuity. Number 6. Carlos II of Spain The King of Spain, Carlos II, was born with many deformities as a result of severe inbreeding. He was both mentally and physically disabled and infertile due to his bloodline. But the worst of his deformities was his jaw. He was unable to speak or chew properly. He had something called Hadsburg Jaw. His mother ended up ruling the country for him and convinced him that he was bewitched. Number 5. Afonso VI of Portugal Afonso VI of Portugal is a clear reflection of how a disease in childhood can have severe repercussions in adult life. While he was young, he was partially paralyzed on his left side and had grown up to be popularly known as the crazy glutton of the land. Just like other insane kings and queens, his life too ended up in confinement. There was a saying that a groove could be found on the floor where he was found pacing too much. Number 4. Charles IX of France The King of France was a mama's boy, even after attaining his heir. Although being a mama's boy has nothing to do with his insanity, it kept him from understanding right from wrong. He was found inflicting pain on others and enjoying it. He was a sadist and had mad rages. Number 3. Henry VI of England to some, the King of England could be referred to as a saintly figure, but he did not have the qualities of a warrior. He was naive, chaste, gentle, and prudish. After losing all his French possessions, he started to not care about what was going on around his country. Number 2. King George II of England The king from Great Britain was a respectable family man, but when his reoccurring bouts of madness started, he began to fancy a woman at the age of 50 the age of a grandmother. His condition worsened when his doctors locked him in a straitjacket without realizing the real cause of his condition. It is said that he was suffering from a rare hereditary disease that caused excruciating pains. Number 1. Emperor Caligula At the number one spot on the top 10 most insane rulers, Emperor Caligula had no bounds and chewed his way to the top. Once, he was insulted by a common man, and what followed was his brutality. The king killed his entire family in front of the crowd, and when the last living child, a 12-year-old girl, was seen crying hysterically, someone from the crowd shouted that she was a virgin and he couldn't execute her. On hearing this, Caligula ordered his executioner to rape her, then kill her. His absurdities grew with each passing day. He relished in chewing testicles of victims.
and he was also known to have sex publicly with three of his sisters. As usual, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to like it and leave a comment. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. You can also now follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and other social media platforms. Check out the links in the description.